one of the features, remember, uh, was the original adjusted SPY price, which is, of course, non stationary Well, all the uh, long-only investors in the world hoped that it's not stationary right? It hoped that it's going up forever. But that is not suitable uh, as a feature for predicting future return. So after we apply fractional differentiation, you can see that the time series look like this. Look at like the bottom chart. Uh, it still resemble uh, has picked up some of the characteristic of the original series, but you can see uh, that the range of the increase is much smaller. And if you apply the usual time series test, such as ADF test to it, you will find that this time series is now in fact stationary. And uh, you know, you can, you can, if you're interested, you can also compare with the integer differentiation, right? If, you know, normally. Uh, to convert a stationary time series to a non-stationary time series, what you can do uh, is just to take the, the, the difference or the log difference, right? The log difference turned into log return. And you can see that in this chart, the log difference uh, generate uh, a, you know, very much look like a white noise uh, graph, but it loses many of the characteristic of the original time series. It doesn't look at all like the original time series. So the fractionally differentiated time series has the best of both worlds. It captures some of the original characteristic of the time series, but at the same time, it's stationary. So that is uh, why we do that. And you know, we allow you uh, the uh, ability to compare it before and after, after you upload the data to our website and select the time series option.